Hey, what's going on guys? Well, got myself a battle box and uh, I decided to uh, to come here to film it. Just to be different. However, I'm filming on my phone. So this might be a very edited video. <laughs> Obviously, I just put my phone down a couple times to uh, you know look at things and use two hands, but we will see how this goes. It's just, it's kind of a nice day out today. You heard before the uh, birds are chirping and you know, the wind's blowing. There's the birds. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got a battle box. Not a very big one. But we're gonna see what's inside this puppy today. So let me have myself a seat here and we'll see how I can do this. All right, so I'm gonna take off my Brass blade, silent soldier, and hang on. I'll put you down for a second. See, I'm already doing it, but hang on. I'm still here. Oh, see, I have to think backwards anyway. There is the front. There is the front. Okay, zip, zip. I can do this part for you. Just couldn't flip it over with one hand. Come on. All right. So, let's see what we got going on here. Come on. <laughs> Try the old tricky one-hander. Come on. Hang on. There we go. I don't know why this thing was so stuck. All right, so. Mission Brief 97. All right, we're going to tuck that in there. That's the other thing. i got to be careful with garbage because of the wind. So we have here, we have some strawberry granola crunch. All right, some... Just add water. I don't know if this is freeze dried. It's vegetarian. But uh, yeah, I mean, Ready Wise, very well known brand for emergency food. I always say it, there's a couple things you get in these like monthly boxes that never ever get old. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that a. What the heck? It looks like a beaver swimming. Oh no. That. <laughs> my eyes are getting bad. I thought it was a bird sitting on a beaver. It is two geese. What the hell was I thinking? All right. <laughs> I probably, it's uh, it's way too early to be drinking. I promise I'm, I'm sober here. Just uh, having a little fun. Uh, all right, so some emergency food. But what was I saying? I was talking about how emergency food is boring, but very important. Uh, water purification, super boring, very important. Um, lighting, sometimes boring, very important. So you get the, uh, the gist. And speaking of which, we got some lighting here. All right, so Fusion by Pod, uh, Pod X 8000, solar powered, dual USB charger, and LED light. All right, come on, wind, bear with me here. Let's do this so it doesn't blow to the top every two seconds. All right, so we have a looks like a generic type, you know, power bank essentially, but we have a whole side panel that is an LED light. All right, solar powered, eh, like I said, some of those things work fine, some don't. Sometimes, like on super cheap ones, it's literally a sticker. It's not even a, a solar panel. Um, I've, I've had uh, varied experiences with those. Like I said, some work very well, most don't. But I do appreciate a USB charger as well as a, a light, so I'm all for that. Looks like we have possibly two knives. Yes, the bird dog. We're going to see what that is in just a second here. And a CRKT. Which CRKT? Oh, the Carson M16. Old school. That's a Walmart knife. Which uh, is, you know, not super exciting to most people. But believe it or not, I don't have one in my collection anymore. So I have to see which version of that it is. Let's we'll see what else we have here first. A $20 gift card to BattleBox. Ooh. Okay. It's got a code on the back. Should I show it? Uh, all right, fine. So I guess... You know, people write that they're first on the video. This is where it counts because someone's going to use this and then the code's not going to work anymore. But there is the code right there. This gift card is worth $20 of bad assery at battlebox.com. There is no expiration date for this gift card. Gift card uh, cannot be used for subscriptions. Use the code below at checkout. There you go. All right. So like I said, someone can get something cool. You can buy just one individual piece of gear. Um... All right, the massive wet wipe. We've had these before. Um, I've actually, the old one, the big one, I took out and used. And I really don't recall off the top of my head what to use it for. 
I think I got a bunch of dirt all over my arm and elbow somewhere I fell. I forget, but I remember having this in my car, taking it out. It worked beautifully. It's just a massive, giant wet wipe. That's all it is, but you never know when you're gonna need stuff like that. And here is another one. Does this one not seem as big? Yeah, this one's the large. It says one foot by two foot. What's this other one? Maybe I had a large. I don't think it was this big. The XL is 1.6 foot by 2.6 foot. Yeah, that sounds way bigger than what I used. So maybe I had the large one. Then we have two things wrapped up here. I'm not sure what these guys are. I don't know why it feels fragile. Let's see what else we got going on here first. All right, so this is a coupon for ReadyWise. 25% off, Battle 25. Let's put some of this stuff back in our box so the wind doesn't take it. This is probably not a great idea because it's super windy. But we're gonna take a look at our knives right after we take a look at this stuff. So what is this? Let me try to carefully Oh, we got some camp cook sets. All right, let me tuck this paper underneath. So that doesn't go flying. So what do we have here? Stanley, two cup cook set, 24 ounce or 0.7 liters, four piece nestled set or nesting set, serves two people, locking pot handle. Interesting, all right, so this is pretty much a, it's actually taped up here. Um, you can see on the back what it is. It is a classic, you know, um, cook set, essentially. This is something you can find at your outdoor, you know, sporting goods section of stores and stuff. So what is this then? It's a different version. All right. Hang on, let me tuck that paper, because I am not a litter bug. Do not want those to go flying. Oh, all in one jar or food jar all in one food jar 18 ounce that's really cool my wife loves stuff like this she loves camp utensils i don't know why she just really digs it so she's gonna like this quite a bit i have a small stanley one that i bought at a target i want to say eight or ten years ago and i love the thing it is quite small this is nice to have as a companion because it looks like it holds a lot more let's see stanley bottles have survived <laughs> speeding bullets um, 4,000 feet drops, negative 70 degree wind chill, category five hurricanes. Yeah, I mean, it's a chunk of metal, you know, that can withhold a lot. Let's see if I can open this one up, hang on. I'll give you a, a view here for a second. I'm just unscrewing the top. Unscrewing the cap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We got instructions inside, so we have an insulated body here. All right, we got a nice uh, uh, seal, rubber seal on that. All right, so that just screws on. All right, and then of course we have the cap that goes on top, which also works like your cup or bowl. So if you want to pour some food out, depending on what you're eating, you could do that in there. All right, so let me put you down another second. All right, let me get this stuff back together, and then we're gonna look at these knives here. So. The box let me take out the knives oh yeah oh wow this 716 is way bigger than i remember unless it's a different version that's impressive okay Put the garbage away all right let's take out this uh fixed blade here bear with me a second of course the wind is picking up again make it things more difficult i don't know maybe think to do this it looked nice out <laughs> because outside it was just crazy windy Wilmson, next plate here. This is, was the bird dog. All right, hang on. I'm taking it out of the sheath too, so I can one hand everything in a second. All right, so back with me. So, this is what we got we got the Wilmson bird dog, which actually feels really nice. This is in 440C. I love this uh, rock pattern, you know, old school kind of Anzo type G10 cuts. Uh, it does have a lanyard hole in the back, a little slit. <clears throat> pretty comfortable in the hand very functional jimping pretty basic design i like it pretty cool comes with a little uh, uh patch there all right the sheath leather sheath interesting let's pop that in there all right close this off use the button snap there we 
go. So there's this presentation. And obviously it's not gonna fall out once it snaps. Then we have our CRKT M16. Like I said, this is bigger than I remember. I don't know if it's just, it's just been a while. Um, usually I see the ones with the uh, synthetic candle scales. This one's all metal. Um, let's see, this one is the M16-04SS. So obviously it's stainless steel. We have our Tanto tip. Very interesting. There is no secondary locks system, if you remember that, where you push the thing up to lock the lock, the liner lock. This is, in fact, a frame lock with a short clip. I do not remember this pocket clip. You guys can school me on that because I don't, I don't remember this style clip at all. Maybe it's just on the stainless model. But if you notice, it is tapped and drilled for all four positions. Up here, down there, and on the other side. So we have tip up, tip down, left, right, carry options, which is nice. So right now it has a tip down, right side carry. So as most of us would probably do when I get home, I'm going to swap this clip for a tip up, right side carry, which is preferable. Um, but yeah, we have jimping on our flipper tab there. Works very nice, even though this is the, um, basically, I mean, it looks like thumb studs. You can use them as thumb studs, I suppose. Well, actually, maybe not that much. This is actually blade stops, all right? And some knives, uh, knife designs have blade stops that look like thumb studs that are functional like thumb studs. But essentially, this keeps this stud that goes through. If you notice, when it's closed, it keeps it against the frame so the blade doesn't close too much or close past where it's supposed to. And then it nestles on top here when it's open for the same purpose. It does not allow the blade to go more open than that all right so even though it looks like ambidextrous thumb studs it is not um interesting so there yeah, we got the crkt m16 like i said totally old school so yeah that's pretty much it we got the uh the nice view today the sun is out it's uh it's not it's not keeping me that warm it's freezing out here my hands are, are freezing but anyway so there you go that is this month's battle box let's go ahead and flip through here real quick make sure we didn't miss anything She could read that right there if you want. Let me put it in the sun so you can actually read the thing. There we go. Of course, we had sun glare, so you couldn't read anything I was showing you. All right. Let's see. So we have our our large and extra large wipe. We have our strawberry granola crunch from ReadyWise. The Stanley uh, all-in-one food jar. The Stanley uh, nesting two-cup cook set. And by the way, there's a better picture of that. All right. Very cool. Um, we have the power bank, uh, LED, like I said, this solar panel thing, I don't know how gimmicky that is. I'll, I'll try to use it. I always do. I always test everything, but not always, uh, you know, the, the most functional, but you know, having more of these power banks is, is really key in my opinion. You should have a giant power bank for more important things. You know, if the power goes out, if you don't have a, uh, you know, gas generator, or even in addition to a gas generator, you know, I always recommend stuff like that. Uh, backups to backups to backups, right? And then we have the CRKT uh, M1604SS. You can read that if you want, as well as the specs there. This is rocking a Sandvik 12C27 um, stainless steel blade, bead blast, frame lock. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, of course, on the last page here, we have our Willemson Bird Dog 440C, eight and a quarter inches long, three and a half inch blade. And you can read that if you wish. So that is all for, whoa, hello, <laughs> come on. All right, this month's battle box. So I'm gonna shut my camera off here and actually look at this gear a little more. I wanna take this uh, the two cup out and check that out. And maybe I'll play with this, uh, this little USB charger and flashlight and stuff before I head out of here. But yeah, just gonna enjoy the view. Unfortunately, it's super windy. But I'm hoping to uh, get out a lot more, make a lot more videos outside. I know it's just it's just nice. I want to be outside, you know. And while I'm out here doing different things, why not make a video? So today's video didn't go as smoothly because I didn't bring my camera and tripod and stuff. That would have been a little better. Although in hindsight, maybe the whole the whole thing would have fell over from the wind because it is blowing right now. It's very windy, very cold. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.